SEO, I think, has often been looked at as that channel that isn't really for us. People don't buy our products online. People don't research. You know, we do business over a handshake, right? We do business. We negotiate contracts face to face. We meet customers in person. People don't sign million pound, million dollar contracts over a, a off, to, off a Google search. And I think that the reality is that actually they do these days. Like it, it happens, and it happens regularly. And, and we see it across our clients, but we work with some big clients on the agency side, and we see. SEO leads coming in where people fill out a form and say, you know, can you respond to this quote? It's for half a million pounds. And our clients are like, wow, people really do. There is a whole new generation oh, yeah. that begin their buyer journeys in this way. And Google had some great stats, even from, I think, 2015, saying something like 70 plus percent of B2B buyer journeys start with a Google. And that was data from 2015. So if that was 2015, just imagine what, what that is now. So well, just think about it too, Alex, this way, you know, generationally, like who are in procurement exactly. departments, who are the new middle manager, somebody who's between 35 and 40 years old, they grew up in a digital age. I mean, yeah. it just, they did, they, they're used to it. This is why not. And yeah. that whole issue. And of course, it's often been quoted. Many different reports have pointed to it about how much further the buyer is down their buyer's journey before they even engage with a potential supplier or vendor. So it's rare that you're going to show up, knock on somebody's door and say, I have a completely new idea. You weren't thinking about this before. Occasionally you can do that. That's a hard way to do business, but you really need to be available with really great content, I think is what you're telling us, um, for when people are looking that you actually make the shortlist. And if you're not there, you're not there. 